2006 Prius had the kiss of death with the red triangle of death on it, so I had to use the manual key to open the car. And you see the beep still goes. Battery is actually good. Both batteries are good, the small battery and the big battery. When you look at it, I'm not getting much joy out of my dash right now. That's because I got to replace this little fuse here. But before I do that, I got to replace the pump because the pump is the problem. This thing was smoking before. So I popped it open. What I had was this fuse here keeps blowing. AM2. When I plug it in and start the car, it's fine until the gas engine kicks in. When the gas engine kicks in, it wants to pump fluid and the pump blows and it actually smokes and smoke you can see coming from the bottom region here underneath and coming around. I thought it was the wiring harness but the wiring harness is up here. It's unaffected. So what we have is a water pump problem and I don't know if I can get in here. Oh look at that. I can almost see it just fine. If you have extra long socket extensions you could do this job without disassembling anything could mean a lot of hassle getting the new pump in and also the chance of spilling over a quart of coolant in the process. So what I'm going to do is remove the headlight assembly. That'll give me more room to work and allow me to do this without making a big mess of it. To do that you need to loosen the fender. The fender screws are removed and the cowling is loosened. I'm not going to remove the cowling, just loosen enough to get the headlight loose. First thing you're going to want to do is remove the screws that hold the fender in place and the cowling on the front of the car so that you can get access to the headlight assembly and remove it. This is a set screw. It loosens but it doesn't come out. This one was all rusty so I used my vice grips. I use pictures to keep track of the locations of oddball screws. Now you can unplug and remove the headlight assembly. I've got the driver's side headlamp removed and you can see the little corner of the fuse box and why the smoke was coming up along here. This is the culprit right here and it looks really like a rusty mess like I want to change out all these uh, hose clamps. This is some loose tape there I don't know why. I get that out of my sight for now. I'm going to try to take it off with these bolts here and leave these crusty rusties on the car because those are going to be very hard to take off. And I also want to see if I can do this without leaking my fluid everywhere. That's going to be interesting. But the first thing I want to do would be to test this with this unplugged. If you have long pliers, you could do this step first before you disassemble anything. This coolant pump has been leaking or condensing water for a long time and has rusted out the base that the frame attaches to. So I'm going to detach the frame and use the new frame with the new part. I don't see the point in removing this part as long as it'll still hold the pump to the car. So I'm just going to replace the base to the pump rather than the bracket that holds it to the car. This is the bracket being removed from the new part. I unscrewed the old pump and set it to the side and I screwed in the new pump. Then I loosened the clamp on the old one and moved it to the side without removing the hose. The coolant won't start leaking until you pull the hoses off the pump, so do so very carefully. Do the lower hose first and then the top hose. You should only lose then maybe half a cup or less of fluid in the process. Then you move the clamps down into locking position again. Plug in the pump wires and your install is all done. I plugged in the AM2 fuse, went back, hit the start button, and the car sprung back to life. And no engine light on this time. However, after a little bit of driving, the engine light did come on, not for this problem, but for a separate problem, which I will follow through with on another video.